With the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA has gotten a new look at a well-known cosmic landmark, the spectacular star-forming area known as the Pillars of Creation. Astronomers are overjoyed with the James Webb Telescope's discoveries. In response to the public interest, James Webb Project scientist Klaus Pontopoden tweeted that the team planned to photograph the Pillars of Creation with the new Space Telescope. Want to know how the James Webb Space Telescope discovered a fantastic star formation and what they plan to do? Then stay tuned for more information. The picture which was recently revealed is rich with young stars and reveals fresh insights about the ghostly spires of dust and gas that dominate the area. It is the most recent in a long line of stunning cosmic portraits captured by the Webb Telescope. The three-dimensional pillars appear to be imposing rock formations, although they are far more porous. These pillars are composed of interstellar gas and dust, which may be so cold that they seem translucent in the near-infrared light. According to Planetary Science Institute astrobiologist David Grinspoon, the latest web picture is simply magnificent beyond words. Oh, he said on Twitter, my universe. Researchers will be able to get much more accurate counts of newly formed stars alongside the amount of gas and dust in the area thanks to Webb's observations of the Pillars of Creation, which became famous when NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took pictures of them decades ago. Yep, that's correct. In 1995 and again in 2014, the Hubble Space Telescope famously caught the image of wispy towers of gas and dust that mimic rock structures. Since the Webb Observatory's infrared equipment can see through part of the dust, the carved columns look less opaque in the new perspective. NASA's latest space telescope, the James Webb, which has snapped the agency's most precise landscape photograph to date, providing a crucial insight into the birth of stars. It has taken images of the pillars of creation, which seem to be arches and spires filled with semi-transparent gas and dust. It's a stellar nursery where new stars are being created. So here is what's new. The James Webb Telescope, intended to replace the aging Hubble, can see through the dust that obscures stars and other objects in Hubble photos by detecting near and mid-infrared radiation. NASA claims that James Webb's infrared vision could not see through the gas and dust in the pillars of creation. Still, its unique perspective will help scientists get more accurate estimates of newly created stars and the quantity of gas and dust in the area. Astrophysicist and scientific communicator Kirsten Banks lauded James Webb for revisiting the pillars of creation and providing scientists with more specific data to learn from to better understand the process of star creation. Banks stated in a Twitter video, not only are there apparent stars sprinkled in every nook and corner of this picture, but if you look carefully at the tops of the pillars, you can see this blazing heat. It seems like lava is spewing from a volcano. Some pillars' red borders are caused by young stars estimated to be just a few hundred thousand years old. They emit supersonic jets that excite hydrogen molecules in their vicinity, producing a crimson glow. NASA faced more than 20 years of technical problems, delays, financial overruns and threats from Congress to cancel the telescope altogether before James Webb's achievement. The primary mirror of the Webb telescope has a light-gathering area six times larger than that of the Hubble, which has led some to question the telescope's need. In millions of years, they will better understand how stars originate and explode from these dusty clouds contrasting the foundations of creation. Hubble's visible light image reveals three pointed black structures rising from the system's center. The pillars are visible in Webb's near-infrared photograph, however, they seem translucent and rusty red. Stars in the process of forming steal the show in this picture from Webb's near-infrared camera, also known as NearCam. These are the flaming crimson globes you sometimes see resting on the dusty pillars outside. New stars are formed when knots of sufficient mass develop inside the gas and dust pillars and collapse under their own gravity. Leading us to the big question, is there any explanation for the lava-like wavy streaks that run around the base of certain pillars? Yes, these are the outbursts of stars that are in the process of developing in the surrounding gas and dust. 
These thick pillars result from a collision between a young star's supersonic jets and a cloud of material. Additionally, this may cause bow shocks, which seem like waves when seen from above, much like the wake of a boat. The red light is caused by excited hydrogen molecules produced by jets and shocks. This is especially clear in the NIRCAM's image's second and third top pillars, which are almost pulsating with activity. These stars are so young that their age can only be calculated in the hundreds of thousands of years. Near-infrared lights may make it seem like Webers pierce through the clouds to show vast voids of space beyond the pillars, but this image contains very few galaxies. Instead, our perspective of the deeper cosmos is obscured by the interstellar medium, a mixture of gas and dust in the densest section of our Milky Way's disk. Fine, Hubble may have taken the first images of this picture in 1995 and returned to it in 2014. Still, several other observatories have also studied it extensively. These regions are so dense with stars that every new sophisticated equipment provides researchers with further invaluable information. The James Webb Space Telescope stands out as the gold standard in space research. Webb will investigate unanswered questions about our solar system, peer to other planets orbiting other stars, and seek answers about the nature and origins of the cosmos. The Webb Space Observatory is the largest and most advanced to date due to its 6.5-metre-wide mirror and high-fidelity sensors. The picture is a close slice of the much larger Eagle Nebula, which is 6,500 light-years distant. Typically, astronomers would use a light filter to render the dusty columns almost transparent, allowing a clearer view of the young stars. The NIRCAM picture accomplished just that, drawing attention to the hundreds of newborn blue stars in the area. And MIRI can even take this method one step further. However, in this case, the filtering has chosen to focus on the wavelengths at which the dust emits light. Professor Mark McCochrane, the European Space Agency's Senior Advisor for Science, said that the image disproves the notion that mid-infrared observations allow you to see through dust and instead demonstrate that they are excellent for studying dust and rigid molecules made to glow by the intense light of nearby hot stars. In particular, this highlights the complicated chemistry of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These compounds contain a great deal of carbon. They're in car exhausts and on charred bread. The PAHs generated by stars are considered to increase the carbon abundance across the cosmos. MIRI was created by scientists and engineers from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and 10 European nations headed by the United Kingdom. Professor Gillian Wright is a co-principal investigator on this project. Seeing how well MIRI is doing is amazing in and of itself. It generates completely novel scientific data that has never been available. According to the head of the UK Astronomy Technology Centre, these new images show us what may be thought of as the pillar's skin. You can make out filamentary formations, the sites where stars begin to ionise the surrounding material. Also, some areas aren't lighting up for Miri because they are so thick and icy. No doubt, NASA got this one right. With the debut of the JWST, a new era in astronomy has started. Wondering how it all started? Let's give you a quick hint. The JWST is a joint effort between NASA, the Canadian Space Agency and the European Space Agency. It replaced the Hubble Space Telescope and went into orbit in December 2021. Although the JWST has only been in operation for a short period, it has already achieved several significant scientific discoveries. What are your thoughts on NASA and the James Webb Space Telescope? Let us know in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like the next video here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.